Hey guys, it's God Holy Milk here, and today I'm gonna be doing some shaman healing for you. I'll be giving you some tips on healing, I'll talk about some handy add ons and macros, and we'll be on our way. First off, I'm gonna talk about macros. I've only got one macro at the moment, and that is a mouse over macro. And what that means is I can just hover over whoever I want to heal, press my heal, and I heal. Now, um, it's it's a pretty simple uh, command, it's not very hard to type, it's not very long either. Um, all it is is just a, a short little forward slash cast target equals mouse over spell name. Now, you do have to make this for every single hill you want to be a mouse over, but um, it really does save you those crucial seconds that, um, that can, can really wreck a tank or something and um, you're busy trying to trying to click different people and heal them and then you know that little space between clicks they might die so this just really speeds up the rate you can get heals out um, so that's it for macros uh, if you guys have any other more macros uh, that would be useful for healing or shaman healing that'd be great to know um, or add-ons uh, another great add-on for speeding up how fast you can get your heals out is snowfall key press now what this does is it just makes all of your buttons uh, cast on press down instead of release. So you could hold down a button and you'd cast your spell, you don't have to take your finger off. Uh, so that's really helpful. Um, back in Wrath, I did use Totem Radius, which uh, gave you a radius of all of your totems on your minimap. Unfortunately in Cataclysm it doesn't work, but that's okay. I don't. Not doing too much raiding or BGing, so everyone's usually close knit in these five man raids. Um, I also use the the obvious uh, grid and click. Now, grid you can see there is just a grid of all the players, and click is, I suppose, it's kind of like a, a macro setup add-on. Um, what you can do with it is, I'll just give you an, an example. So you you click a spell you want to um, to to Oh, yeah. bind I suppose and um, you just put in you just press it with the buttons you want to so let's say you want uh, earth shield to be shift click you shift click on earth shield while in click and it does that for you it's really simple and really helpful um, other than that I would just use you know just other non healing uh, add-ons like my UI and and stuff like that actually no another great add-on for shaman healing is um, it's called shieldy sounds. Now what it does is when a shield gets um, uh, I suppose taken away or eaten or whatever you want to say um, it makes a sound. So like when water shield goes away it makes a drop sound. When um, earth shield goes away it makes a big cracking sound and I believe lightning shield makes a small zap. Um, I wouldn't mind making them a little louder and recognizable, but um, that might take uh, take a little bit of editing and whatnot. Um, for tips for healing, um, I don't know if this applies to all healers, but um, for shamans or for me, um, I kind of treat healing now like the last boss in Trial of the Crusader, uh, Anubarak. Uh, I keep everyone around half HP, uh, just so I've got enough mana or mana to just top everyone off. Uh, it seems to be working. I'm usually ooming still, but uh, not as not as fast as I um, I would if I was trying to keep everyone at full HP. Um, obviously, people do die because they might step into something that they're not supposed to, or they'll just get hit really hard. Like in the previous fight when the shaman didn't move away from that uh, the the fire ad, and he just got wrecked. But he reincarnated, so it was all good. We got his DPS back. Um, I don't know any other tips for charm and healing apart from that. Um, just making sure you've got your shields up all the time, you have the right totems, uh, and you should be good. So I suppose I'll just talk about this fight. Um, I don't usually oom on this fight, but I did. I, I think that's because the Warlock and Shaman never got into the Shadow Gale, which was really annoying. Um, I like using the Shadow Gales uh, as a top-off time. So once everyone's in it, I'll pop down a healing rain and just top everyone off. And it seems to be pretty helpful making sure no one dies. This boss also spawns adds, and they do like a, a corrupt something, I don't know. 
the actual spell's called, but um, I think they're trying to release uh, another rad, which would probably be a dragon from those eggs. I've never actually seen something pop up there because we've always killed it before it happens, so um, if you guys could let me know what actually happens, that'd be nice to know so I can prepare for the worst. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Rate and subscribe to TGN, comment, leave me some, some constructive criticism, you know, help me out here. You can go to my channel, YouTube forward slash users forward slash got holy milk, I'm sure it'll be in the com um, the description. And um, make sure you subscribe to that. And uh, I hope you guys have, have uh, a good time healing in Cataclysm. Cheers.